there's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video and Nick has not been in one of my videos in It's been a while. A very long time. We have broken up apparently. <laughs> we don't love each other anymore. Where is Dustin? The list goes on. Where is Nick? All I just of that. I just flew back into town apparently. So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just here. Had to send him his check, all of that so you can yeah. go here. <laughs> yeah. In the so time. you guys, we got a lot to talk about in this video, and I'm so glad to have Nick here. I've missed oh. him on my channel, although I've seen him every single day. Just me moping around. Uh, well, I'm being moody, crabby. Yeah, crabby patty. Very big crabby patty. Yeah. It's been a moment. But before we jump into that, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Ooh. Safety and security are two very important aspects. Even we must deal with them on a daily basis, and sometimes it can be really hard to find the right solutions. Wouldn't it be great if there was a solution which gets rid of most of the problems? Most internet users aren't even aware of the amount of surveillance, limitation, and data mining done with their personal information on a daily basis. Surfshark VPN can get rid of all these problems for you with an easy-to-use one-for-all solution. Surfshark turns you into an anonymous, hard-to-trace online user and makes the internet a safer and more enjoyable place for you. With the click of a button, you can forget about data mining and intrusive advertisement. Do you know what geoblocking is? Is, Disney Plus or Netflix, for example, have different movies for each country. Access should not be tied to nationality. Surfshark gives you all the access you need. Just connect to the service and refresh the page. Access granted. I use Surfshark every day. It automatically starts up whenever I start my PC and whenever I need it, I activate it with just one click. Use promo code daily to get 83% off plus three extra free months. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk. Surf with your own rules. The link is in the description. And for one more added note, I would just like to add that Surfshark is one of the fastest VPNs that I've ever used there is zero lag so you guys know um, we've made how many videos now about Shane Dawson coming back 522 <laughs> and mentioned it in about like 34 others yeah there's been quite a few videos that we've made about Shane Dawson coming back because he's been very active on Instagram yes he's been uh, doing videos with Rylan on kind the of. sip he was on the sip he was on the sip that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today mm. now I know I don't think you've watched it no well I watched <laughs> it I watched Angelica Ohl's video and I was just like Angelica acted like she could not be bothered. But like, can anybody <laughs> really be bothered by this now? Because, and I say that because we've had so many people get canceled, yeah. like James Charles. James Charles has been canceled many times over for the exact same yeah. kind of stuff, not what Shane did, but for the exact same stuff that James is known yeah. to do. And he's just welcome back with like open arms. Well, so, I mean, are we really surprised? Well, not really, but Shane did actually talk about that a little bit. He said mm. that he felt bad that he impacted so many different people that were involved with him at the time. Of who? For, he didn't really say specifics. I think he meant like really Jeffrey and stuff. Well, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's own behavior led to Jeffrey in the situations that he was having. Yeah. Because Jeffrey was getting canceled before the whole Shane thing. Shane was just, I see, I saw it the different way. I saw it that Shane was actually uh, being gone after so hard at that time because of his affiliation with Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like to me. Shane did some horrible shit but well everything it's always like it always repeats you know mm. because every couple of years there'll be things with Shane that comes out just like Trisha and then Jeffrey and all of that and sometimes they address it and sometimes they don't speaking of Trisha I think that Trisha is actually like canceled yeah people thought that Trisha was uncancelable and now well I mean we the vast majority of people that watch Trisha they're still watching her I just feel like the hate that she's getting is actually outweighing all the people that actually do support Trisha. Yes. There's been like this whole entire back and forth for like weeks now about Trisha being canceled with all this stuff that came out, uh, the mysterious videos and all that. That's not the topic of this video. If you guys want another video on that with mine and Nick's opinions, uh, we could do that. Like unsolicited opinions. <laughs> I didn't watch but any of it. <laughs> there was something very uh, serious that was actually in this um, podcast that was uh, between Shane, Lizzie, and Ryland. Now, I want to say that the whole, like, we sit down and we don't script videos. We just go off the cuff. This is mm. like, we don't script any of this. Mm. But I could tell that they didn't do theirs. It was very awkward. Like, it was very, like, when the uh, podcast started, it mm. was just, there was this weird, like, energy between all of them. And then they kind of, like, got into everything. But Shane actually talked about, um, about six months ago, he said that he wrote out, like, uh, S word note. Okay. Basically, and he talked about how him and Rylan had been fighting and how uh, basically, like, everything up until that point had really, like, waited on him. Mm -hmm. And now they've moved to Colorado. And him and uh, I think him and Rylan are fine, but Rylan does really, like, cut him off a lot. It was very weird. You can't even cut me off because you don't even have anything to say. I don't. It's very sad. I don't. And can we talk about that for a second? Because I have not been paying attention to any of the drama out here. Mm -hmm. So 
I, this is the first that I even knew about like the issues that Shane was having because mm -hmm. I just I can't find I just can't find it in myself to watch yeah. things about no, other you already people have right enough, now like bad stuff going on. But see, I thought the Colorado move would be good for them. I thought getting out of LA because I mean, did Shane really hang out with anyone in LA other than Jeffrey and Trisha? I don't think so. Maybe Drew Monson every now and then. See, I don't think that they did for but like him a while. And, I don't think him and Andrew uh, Sick, Sick Wiki, whatever that guy's yeah, name is. Yeah, I don't think they're I friends anymore. Don't think they're friends anymore, pretty much. Uh, I don't think... What's the other guy that's friends with Drew? I can't ever remember his name. It's Shane's ex. Garrett. The, yeah, the sweet Garrett boys. Watts. Uh, Garrett Watts. They're, they're really entertaining. I like Garrett's videos, even though I can't really remember his name. I catch him every once in a while. Yeah, he was. I met him and he was But nice. I kind of did feel bad for Shane in that moment when he was talking about like the S word and stuff like that. Because of I, course, I, I get he felt like he had the weight of the world on his yeah. shoulders. He did talk about how he was going to come back and he just doesn't know when the right time will be or what he actually wants to put his energy into. And then Lizzie was pretty much like, uh, you should do short films and stuff. And Shane said that he's already written like three horror films that he wants to produce and put out. I think that'll be interesting. I mean, uh, that will be interesting. I just watching the behind the scenes footage from the video uh, mm. where Shane was making one of his videos. Mm. It showed a different light for uh, Shane in a lot of different ways. People were not happy with it. No. Do you think that Shane was editing people's videos while he was away? Uh, well, I know he was editing Ryland's videos for sure because he was talking about doing mm. thumbnails and stuff. Hmm. I, I just don't know how the perception is going to be Jeez. because he actually is going to be coming back now. He is going to come back. And honestly, like touching on the, sub, the thing that I said earlier with how James is just welcome back with open arms. Right. I'm just going <laughs> to clap for Shane to come back because at this point, people are so fickle when yeah, it comes really to canceling are. people. And you know that everyone's going to be tuning in to see what Shane puts on his channel for the first time. Oh, it's yeah. going to be the comment section. I guarantee you is going to be nothing but love. You might have like one or two comments of people like, Oh, we hate you all this kind of stuff, but it's how the internet works. Yes. Apparently you can do really horrible up shit james charles and you'll be welcome back without even having to take a break from the internet i will say so, that mm. the comments that were on the video uh, of the podcast with shane Ryland and lizzie they were mm. all very favorable of shane and it, out of everyone uh tati really did take tati oh. was the example of taking time away from the internet except mm. for when she uploaded that video we're not going to get into that. But uh, Shane did stay away from the internet just a little bit. Like, and he said mm. that he went to therapy. Uh, unlike Trisha, I do believe that Shane probably did go to therapy yeah. because he was talking about how he had like this picking thing and how if he wrote out lists that uh, he would have to get them done. Like he has severe OCD. Yeah. I could see someone like Shane having OCD because I feel like OCD is a manifestation of a whole bunch of other things. Mm. Um, so, I mean, good luck to Shane if he's coming back. I hope that he is actually um, putting thoughtful content out. I hope it's not like... I don't think that it'll be anything problematic anymore. I think that he's definitely probably learned his lesson from everything in the Oh, past. wait a minute now. Wait a minute now, no. What? Because technically his first video back with one of those friends is going to be Friday, apparently. He's going to sit down with yeah. Jeffrey, and they're going to talk about the whole, uh, their collaboration being yeah. found with like TJ Maxx and all of that. So I don't think it's not... Like he's not he's still gonna dip into the problematic because let's face you it, problematic so? sells. Problematic yeah. sells, people will love it, people will watch it, even if they hate you it, they'll a, take you it to raise Twitter. A good point. So I don't think he's gonna step away from the problematic. I hope that when Shane comes back, he does the conspiracy videos. Yeah. I really enjoy those. I really did those. enjoy the Shane conspiracy um, videos. I hope that he doesn't, other than this Jeffrey thing, if they are gonna talk about it, I hope there's nothing else with makeup because honestly, it was a cash grab. That's all that was. There was yeah. never, in my opinion, there was never another palette in the works and yeah. all of that. It was, give me the money, and now let's move to Colorado. It was pretty much like a 12 part series of a commercial. It was we a all found that after the fact. But Jeffrey did tweet out and said, uh, said, he did say, brand new video will be up this Friday. At Shane Dawson and I react to finding our makeup collab in Nord uh, Nordstrom Rack. We went on the hunt with cameras and I answer all of your questions. Now, it'll be really interesting. I don't think that Jeffrey's going to answer anything about Morphe because if you remember, some time ago, Jeffrey actually tweeted out about people finding mm. his brand, not just this uh, collab in like Nordstrom Rack, uh, maybe Ross, TJ Maxx, all these different places. And he literally never addressed it because it was after that, I think something happened with one of the dogs. But he never came back to it. He never addressed it at all, ever. Well, I mean, 
I think that is Linda getting over on Jeffrey. Oh, a thousand percent. Which it just shows you how fake that whole like industry is. Because they were like really good friends and then all this happened. Which it shows you how fake the industry is because let's face it, Jeffrey got ousted from Morphe faster than anything for what he did. But here with James Charles, we still have the palette being yeah. removed from its full price. There's a little sale over here and then back up to almost full price. I so hmm. I would really like to know the thoughts that thought process behind Linda Morphe because, you know, we had Jacqueline just last week trying to rewrite history basically saying that Morphe was never affiliated with Crown and that Crown actually had their stuff private labeled by Morphe when Crown's been out here for 35 years and it contradicted everything that Stephanie and Nicole told us and pretty much mm. what people behind the scenes in the industry knew. So, I mean, Mor Morphe, like, at this point, I think that Morphe... They, they should count their days. I think Morphe is pretty much going to be done in the next two, the three years. The thought process behind Linda and Morphe, it's like if you really like listen to the distance, you could just hear the cash register just going. That's where her thought process well, is. Well, I want to know. James brings a ton of money. We never got an update, and it would be really interesting if Emily Baker would cover this. Remember, Morphe was uh, getting sued by all these different places mm -hmm. that they had retail locations with because they didn't pay their rent. And I get with everything going on in the world, but Morphe, the people that have literally made probably billions of dollars at this point. Girl, they couldn't pay their f***ing rent, but yeah. they're over there just having collab after collab after collab with all of these Madison people. Beer, one of the D'Amelios. Like, nobody wanted the Madison Beer one. All these people, like, it's just, Morphe is too much. I think, isn't Morphe too? The D'Amelio's like little like I, off brand. Girl, or I don't something. know. I, I quit keeping up with Morphe when Jaclyn Hill came out with that thing on her head, that tiara of brushes. Like, you never well, know Apparently Jaclyn has a new collaboration coming. This is the final collaboration oh with Morphe. It's neutrals for fall, groundbreaking. We don't believe that. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I'll say this. The okay. palette's pretty, but it, it, in my opinion, it's just a repeat of what she's already put out. It's like Jacqueline just recycles things and makes more money, and people are eating it up. I saw people on Twitter, they were like, oh my god, I'm in love with it. And like, I'm not saying that because I dislike Jacqueline. I think Jacqueline's entertaining, and it's really... Um, it's nice to watch her actually come into her own and make content that's not so much centered around beauty, mm -hmm. like with the weight loss and stuff. But then again, I guess Jacqueline has to go where her bread and butter is. So she was like, I'm going to put this out. I don't think that this is what Jacqueline was hinting at with the, uh, I've worked on this I for think two that's years. Candles. I definitely think that that is candles. I have reason to believe that. And if it is, I'm ready for Jackie Ina to come out swinging. Yeah. There is only one story that I want from Jacqueline Hill, and I need to know about this car that she was allegedly almost dragged into. That is the important story that we need to know about because it is a very serious thing to put out there, everyone. And it was right around the time that Jacqueline was getting dragged for something. So yeah. why is that all of a sudden been just like brushed to the road? Remember, she was so upset. Yeah. She was so upset because people questioned it. And I think that she kind of used that as a way to not have to talk about it. Well, I don't think we're ever going to get a circle back around to that moment. I think we will. I don't think we will. I think we will. I think that during this series, as we get to like the end of it, when Jacqueline, because I think towards the end of the series is, is when a when, launch is going to happen. Is when she's going to launch this thing that she's been putting all of her money in for two years or however long it's been. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that we will hear something about it then to drive sympathy, to drive sales. That's what I think. Maybe. That's what I think. Drag me in the comment section if you want to. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much at the point now where we're just going to say what we think. It's it's just I've whatever always, now. Always one of them. <laughs> well, no, I mean now more than always ever because we've found what life is so short and all that. But you guys, I know we talked about a lot in this video. Uh, let us know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you are so inclined, please check out Surfshark VPN and use code DUSTED. It's a very good VPN. I actually use it daily. It is very good. Uh, it was nice to actually sit down and film a video with you finally. Nice. On this cold kitchen floor. <laughs> this Trisha. cold kitchen floor. Right. But you guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye guys.